And guess what? I just keep doing both. I just keep doing it both. Crocodile print. Someone said they like corn, and now I can't unsee it. Which one? Another jug of sangria? I just remind myself, it's your period. It's not you, babe. It's your hormones. They're going crazy right now. <laughs> Are you taking a piss out of me? Hello darlings, welcome or welcome back to my channel if you've never been here before. My name is Emma Thompson Hill, thank you for joining me today. Look at my nails, how summery are they? We've got yellow and they're like the crocodile print. Someone said they look like corn and now I can't unsee it, but that was not the vision. I was trying to give tropical wild alligator. Anyway, I'm not in England right now. I I'm in Portugal, so I've come to Lisbon for five days with one of my friends, Lauren, and I'm excited. I've never been to Lisbon before. We've literally just got here now. So our flight was at like 10.45. It's just gone three o'clock here. The flight was like two and a half hours. Yeah, so we've just got to our hotel. It's really nice. I'll give you a little room tour, but right now we're gonna go up to the roof so we can just get a bit of a tan. I need to get in the sun. I feel like a bit, I know I'm not pale right now, but I just feel a bit ugh, like I need to be kissed by the sun. So we're gonna get in the pool. We're gonna lie out a bit chill and then i think later on we're gonna go to the timeout market so that's over and done with because i feel like you have to go there when you go to lisbon i've got loads of recommendations that i put in my google maps like i put loads of little places that people have told me to go to so come on this journey with me and we're gonna discover and explore together i'm not actually gonna be doing my tiktok vlogs this trip yeah i don't know what content i'm gonna be doing on tiktok but i feel like i've been prioritizing doing my tiktok vlogs on every trip i go on and i feel like i've been neglecting you lot so you lot are gonna get the best vlog of this trip okay i promise i'm making it my mission so this is what i'm seeing right now this is on the balcony we have a little balcony in our room we're staying at a hotel called lux lisboa park i think this is probably like in the newer town someone said there's like an old town and a new town i don't know because i've never been here before but the room is lovely and the hotel seems lovely and there's a rooftop pool so let me give you a little tour this is our room this is all my shit everywhere i have the two little beds seating area tele bathroom mirror mirror so we just got dressed now and we're gonna go to the pool i'm confused am i in it Hi guys, Hi. isn't it cool? So yeah, I just need to get in the pool ASAP. That's what I need for my spirit and my soul. Hello. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hello. So we've been in the pool. We just sat outside on the rooftop for a bit. It's actually a lot smaller than I thought it was, isn't it? So we went out there and there was no sunbeds. We just went and had a jug of sangria. 20 euro. Pretty decent. We've both got like three glasses each. You know, I've sat up, I feel a bit. Yeah. And then we sat there, sat, we've probably got a heat stroke. We sat in the sun. <laughs> and then we went into the pool. So you have a pool up there. I'll have to show you at some point. But it's like completely clear. So you can see, anyone who's not in the pool can see your lower body in the pool. Which is a bit worrying, but it's fine. Stayed in there for a bit, led out for a bit, finished our sangria, came back downstairs, got ready, about to go out. We're gonna go to the timeout market and then I think we're gonna go next door afterwards. What's it called? Java? Java. Java. So we're gonna go to Java next door, I think some cocktails afterwards. We're just gonna see where the night takes us. Let me show you my outfit. I've worn this already. <laughs> Lizzie McGuire, you're in an outfit repeater. So this is my outfit. It's just this um, PLT skirt, skims top, earrings H&M. This is from, what's that from? The M Jewelers. Glasses are old, nasty girl. I just have my little Birkenstocks on the feet. I'm not gonna go now and just see where the evening takes us. We had all our food at the market. It was delicious, I'll give you a debrief later of what was my favourite. <laughs> Morning guys, 
My throat is really hurting this morning. Sometimes from time to time. Okay, let me tell you something about me. When I was 17, I was in a car accident. <laughs> this is going tomorrow, I promise. When I was 17, I was in a car accident and I broke my nose. Um, and I it, I ended up smacking something with this side of my face. So my nose is a bit like but crooked and bent. Um, if you see my nose, like, I actually have like a big bump on it. Anyway, my septum, which is the thing right here, what separates your nostrils, is deviated, which means it's like deviated. So it's either to the left or to the right or just, just fucked up basically. So I actually can't breathe properly through this nostril. Oh, there's a bogey in there. Sorry. Anyway, this nostril is deviated. I can't breathe past like this point. It depends. Sometimes if my sinuses are really clear, then I can breathe like more, but the breathing is limited, all right? So when I sleep, I often sleep with my mouth open, which is horrible for your throat. Horrible, horrible. And I'm obviously in a country where I think the aircon was on last night. So sometimes if I sleep with my mouth too open, my throat gets very irritated. So my, the dangly thing at the back of your throat called your uvula, my dangly thing at the back of my throat is now swollen. So it feels like there's something stuck in the back of my throat and I can't get it out because it's swollen up. So it's like blocking. It's not blocking, like things obviously can still get in, but I, it's just been a bother in the back of my throat. It makes me feel a bit nauseous as well um, because it just feels like there's something constantly in your throat. Um, so I have woke up with that and it really, it doesn't hurt, no, it does hurt. I'm lying, it does hurt. I want to take some paracetamol, but I need to have some breakfast before I can do that. So right now, Lauren's already gone to the pool, so I'm going to go to the pool to meet her. I think we might lie out for a bit and then we're going to go to breakfast. Yesterday, what we did was, we went to the Time Out Market in Lisbon yesterday because we thought, let's get it done. It actually, it was busy, but it wasn't like even, even super packed. We had croquettes. They were really nice. They were really nice. I went and got a bow bun from this place, which was just okay. Like, it wasn't anything special. We were trying to do, like, picky bits instead of, like, big meals, especially because Lauren's veggie as well. So there was a lot of fish and meat, and Lauren can't eat that. Then we also had a cookie from this place. It was... So the flavour was so good, but it was very, like, ooey-gooey. Like, it needed to be a bit, like... Like, it fell apart in your hands. And then we had ice cream, gelato. I had the ricotta, walnut, and honey gelato, which was delicious, because I didn't want anything too sweet. It was perfect, it was so good. Uh, and then we went from there to this bar called Java, which is literally just across the street, but it's hard to find. Like, it's, you have to go through this little secret door, and then you go upstairs in a lift, and it was really nice, but again, it was kind of busy, so we couldn't find anywhere to sit. And by that point, we were so exhausted from traveling all day, we just decided to have one drink, and then we left and came home. So we were asleep for like quarter past 11, which is, which is good. Oh, let me show you my bikini. I always wear this bikini on holiday. This is a good old trusty. It's from We Are We Wear. They're reversible, so it's like a lighter blue on the inside, dark blue on the outside. Just a string bikini, but I just love them. Years ago, I would never dream of wearing a string bikini, but it's just so comfy. So, this is what the back's like. It's like a full brief, and then it has like the little, you can make it tighter here. Very cute. Hopefully, she's gonna lie out, try and get a little bit of a tan. My period's due uh, in like five days, and I'm, yesterday I felt very, self-conscious and I don't know why because like over the past few weeks I've been thinking you look so fucking good you look bomb blah, blah, blah. and then yesterday I was like oh I'm really pale I'm really this and it's like girl shut up I just remind myself it's your period it's not you babe it's your hormones they're going crazy right now so I'm gonna put this dress on this is a taller dress I don't think I've ever shown you guys this let me put it on I realized that I barely brought any um like clothes, chilling clothes to go to the pool, to go to breakfast. I brought nothing. All I brought was outfits. Because obviously I had such limited space in my hand luggage. So I'm having to like, this is one of my outfit outfits, but I'll be fine wearing this to the pool. So yeah, this is the dress. It's really nice. I think it's from the 365 collection. It's double layered. It's just very cute. I like it. So let me put my hair in a clip. I bought this in Miami and I love it. It's just a sun cream for your face, but you can glide it on like this, and it's so good. I've just got my good old trusty Birkenstocks on. You can't even see them. And my bag from ASOS, this has been a good purchase. I don't think they sell it anymore, but it's like them Uniqlo bags. Like, my friend has one of them, and it's just, it holds everything. So we're gonna go breakfast now. Oh my God, no. I need to show you something from my sleep app. So every night, I record myself sleeping, which might sound weird, but it monitors your quality of sleep. I use it as an alarm, and then it, monitors any sounds or any sounds you make, your snoring, all of that stuff and just record your quality of sleep. Anyway, I woke up this morning and Lauren was like, you was really funny last night because you woke up in the middle of the night and you were like laughing and you're going, stop, stop. 
like as if I was like having a dream, being like, stop. I said, I was I doing it in like a scared way or a playful way. She's like, like in a playful way. Anyway, I've got the recording. <laughs> Listen to this, 2.08 a.m. <laughs> it's the laughing for me. Can you imagine me? I don't, I don't usually talk in my sleep. I groan and make noises. I don't usually like actual say full words. <laughs> I've been dating this new boy, so I feel like maybe I was dreaming about him. I'm gonna take a soother. Thank God I bought soothers at the airport yesterday. I'm gonna have a soother. I'm gonna go and catch some rays, hon. We've been having a great time someday then. We've been in the pool, swimming, lying out. I feel like I've actually got a bit of a tan, which is great. We actually have no plan for what we're gonna do later, so I think we're gonna sit here right now in the bar area and plan something. Going with the flow. Going with the flow. We're just doing as the people do. The bar area is so nice. Gorgeous. We're about to head out. So, I'm sorry, you're gonna brush your teeth. Sorry, girl. <laughs> we're about to head out, so we just got ready. We're gonna go to Pink Street. It's like 10 to five now. We're gonna go Pink Street. I feel like we're doing all the real touristy shit. But I'm a tourist, so I don't care. So we're gonna go Pink Street, have some food, have some drinks, have a little mooch. Mitchy mooch. We've sort of figured out a little itinerary for ourselves. We've been in the sun. I've got a nice little tan. Tomorrow we're gonna go and get some breakfast somewhere and go to LX Factory, I think it's called. There's like a little market there. It's like a big creative space. Sunday, I think we're gonna, gonna go to the beach. Monday we're going home, but we're not going home till like eight o'clock at night. So we've booked Java, the bar that we went to last night for lunch on Monday because it looked like the food was really nice. So that's our little plan so far. This is a dress I'm wearing. I'll have to show you in the mirror in a minute. But I got this last summer, it's from ASOS and it was good for me last summer. I wore it a lot, but I haven't worn it yet this year. And I'm wearing trainers with it because I feel like there's a lot of hills in Lisbon and I don't want to be caught slipping unprepared. So I've got trainers on, comfy shoes, because I'm just accident prone, and if I wear Birkenstocks, I don't want to fall over and ruin my toes. Because that happened last year when I went to Malta. I was climb I was walking down a really steep street, and I fell over, and one of my toenails just was dishevelled. So don't want that to happen again. So I don't really know if the shoes go, but we're going with the cool girl trainer dress vibe, and I'm here for it. It's alright, you can't, I'm literally covering you. Lauren don't want to be on camera, so. I mean. Sometime. When she, when she gives approval, she'll be on camera. Here we, here we are. <laughs> so it's a dress from ASOS and then my little Adidas trainers. And I've worn the blue glasses, so hopefully that'll go with the blue on the trainers. I'm really reaching, but I just want to be comfy. I did say, didn't I, Lauren, like this trip isn't about fashionista. Yeah. It's about comfort. But guess, guess what? I just keep doing both. I just keep doing it both. More Lauren content, please. I know. I read that comment. <laughs> and... <laughs> Maybe it'll come. I'm going now. Bye. Bye. Só você não vê. Faço de tanto amor pra dentro. Só você não vê. Faço de torce quando até. Manque o meu coração. Bate mais forte quando até. Manque o meu coração. Bate mais forte quando até. Manque o meu coração. Só você não vê. Faço de tanto amor Good morning guys. Oh, I woke up this morning with such a sore throat. I don't know if I said yesterday, sometimes my dangly thing, that little dangly thing that's swinging the back of my throat, sometimes it gets swollen. Um, I think I'm prone to something called uvulitis which is basically where the dangly thing at the back of your throat swells. Anyway, I have a sore throat. I have no other cold symptoms. Like I don't have a runny nose or anything like that. My sinuses are fine and my throat is killing. So I think I'm gonna go to the pharmacy to try and get some sort of tablets. I don't know where we got up to last night, but last night we went for some food at this place called Cafe Janice. The food was really nice. We had some drinks there. Then we just went on a little wander and we went to a different bar, this outdoor bar. Then we went to a different bar. We went bar to bar to bar. And then we ended up in this one little bar that was tiny, but we saw a sign outside that said like hip hop Friday nights. And we were looking for some good music. So anyway, we went in there. 
they were not playing hip hop. So we were like trying to do requests. <laughs> We were trying to do requests with the with the DJ and he eventually like started playing Drake and stuff and then we thought let's get a bit cheeky. We asked for fucking Sprinter by Dave and Central C. He's like, I don't know what it is. Anyway, then he played it. Obviously we were we was going, oh my god. Um we absolutely lost the plot because we fucking loved it. It was a great time. I ended up meeting these Brazilian boys, chatting to them for a bit. We had a great time, but we got very drunk. Very, very drunk. So this morning, I was a little bit hanging. I just went for some breakfast. And I've just been chilling here. But what I'm going to do now is go to the pharmacy to get some medicine for my throat, hopefully. Today, our plan was to go to LX factory, I think. So I think we might end up going there. They said it was going to thunder and lightning today, which obviously, you can never trust a um, weather forecast when you're on holiday. Because it just never says, it just never does what it says it's going to do. Especially when you're in a warm country. So the weather's looking nice. We're not bothered about seeing any of the sights. Like there's this big castle that you have to go a little bit to. But I think we just don't want to do the queues and we don't want to do that. Like we're here to chill and enjoy the vibes and get the vibe of the city. So that's what we're doing. As well as chill chillaxing in the sun a little bit. So yeah, I'm going to go to the farm now. We'll see what we can do. We're ready to go now. Here's the outfit. Guilty, Jesus. have a drink around here. It's so pretty. Hello everyone. What day is it, Lauren? Sunday. It's our last full day. What did we do last night? Okay, we went to LX Factory. It was really nice there. It was really nice. There's loads of restaurants and little shops and it was, yeah, it was like a little world of its own, weren't it? It was gorge. Then we ended up in this bar. You need to go, if you go to LX Factory, you need to go to this bar, especially when the sun is setting. I think it was called Under the Bridge. So it's like off the main street, you go on the main street, then you can like cut through to like a different side where there's like more stuff at the back. Where I think the sardine shop is. Anyway, and then you come past it and you, what did it say on the end? I think, did it say, did it say under the bridge? I think it did, it was like a neon sign. You walk past all these containers, go up some stairs, and it's a bar. And it was really nice, you get a view of the Jesus statue, a view of the bridge. It was really pretty, and the DJ was sick. Like, he was playing that like R&B, but like mixed in with like, funky house, and it was just a great vibe. We really liked it there. We had some Pisco Sours, because that's the drink of the holiday. Then we went to meet some friends uh, in a different part of Lisbon, and they were drunk. Drunk, drunk. So we just had a couple of drinks, then came home. But today we're having a beach day, so we're gonna get on the beach. So we were thinking about going to Kashkesh, so you have to get the train there. But then we met a girl last night who was serving us that said Kashkesh Beach is really nice, but it's really busy. If we go to a few stops before Kashkesh, I hope it is Kashkesh. I'm not saying it wrong. A few stops before, there's a place called Sao Pedro. And she said that beach is really nice and it's a bigger beach and it's a little bit quieter. So I think we're going to go there. I'm just going to go to the bakery around the corner because I didn't get breakfast and I'm hungry. Let me show you my outfit. I got this dress years ago on Forever 21, back when it was in the UK. Like it's like this little knitted dress. So I'm wearing my blue bikini. I've committed to this bikini because I'm getting tan lines here and I like it. We are, we wear bikini. This little knitted dress from Forever 21 and my Birkenstocks. I'm really hoping I don't have to walk up a hill because... These shoes, not for the hills, hon. So yeah, we're gonna go to the beach, have a nice, wholesome beach day. And I don't know, we'll just see where the, where the wind takes us. Yeah. Yeah. 
Keisha, you know I got Caesar, pick it, please, you know I got Jesus in the mouth, you're gonna Hello, so we're back now. We've had a lovely day. We had a beach day. So we got the train. Whilst we were at the train station, we met this Australian boy and he basically said he was going to the same place as us. So we all ended up going to the beach together. He was like, can I join? And we were like, all right. We just led on the beach. I am burnt. Ah, just on the top though. Just on the top and on my back and on my shoulders. Nowhere else. So we had a lovely time at the beach. The water was really clear, but the water was really cold. And it was busy there, but after we'd been let out for a bit, we went up the stairs to this bar that was really nice. So there's bars on the beach, but they're really busy. We went to this place called, let me see if I can find out its name. The bar was called Ponta do Sal. And it was really nice. It was just like a bit out of the way of the other Lauren. <laughs> no, guess what our Uber driver's called? <laughs> no, he is. He is. Are you taking the piss out of me? Yeah, you are, right? Yeah. I was just gonna say this is what I do. I lie my vlogs, and I was going like this. <laughs> On my close okay, that's fine. What was I saying? Yes, yeah, so we went to this place, but it was a bit off the. It was a bit off the freaking. <laughs> distracted by him now. Yeah, it was like a bit away from the other restaurants. So it was a bit quieter, and it was so nice. You can see all the sea, and we had some really good food there. So I had this octopus salad that was really nice and it was like really tender and tasty. Cause you know, sometimes octopus can be a bit chewy. It was really soft and we had a burrata and I had about three iced teas cause I was so thirsty. Yeah, and then we got the train back and then we've just been chilling here for a bit and we just got ready and we're gonna go out for tea now. It's kind of late, it's 9.40. So, cause we didn't get back till like, what, seven? I don't think we got back till about mm -hmm. seven-ish. So. It's nearly 10 now, so we're just gonna go and have a mooch. We might get some food, have some drinks, and it's our last night. So let me show you my outfit. So this is what I'm wearing. I've used Lauren's hair curler to give my hair a bit of zhuzh. This top that I got in the sale last year in like winter time, I've never actually worn it yet. So it's from ASOS. It's like this little cropped shirt and these pants from Red Dolls, these lime linen pants and my Birkenstocks. So yeah, I don't think it's gonna be too wild tonight because we do have responsibilities what? tomorrow. <gasps> what? No, we, we might get a bit wild actually because we don't have our flight until late on tomorrow but we need to get out of the room by like 12. So who knows what's gonna happen, man? Are you looking to get wild? Last night wasn't so wild. Although last night was a good vibe at LX Factory, like mm -hmm. at the, that bar was sick. We'll see what happens. to my vlog today yeah it's our last day in lisbon and we're gonna go to the airport shortly lauren's car what's this i've got a sort of deconstructed avocado on top yeah i've got some corn ribs which look amazing and i've got pancakes with it's like a savory pancakes with fried chicken on top last night we went where did we go we went out pretty late and most places were closed, like for food. But well, they were really expensive, so we ended up stumbling across this um, Italian, like this pizza place. It was really good. All the places we have been, I will put in the description box below, so you can see it. But we went to this pizza place last night, and it ended up being good, didn't it? It was down like a tiny little alleyway. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted for the music. That was nice, and we went and had some drinks. I got drunk yet again. And then we came home. This morning, we've just been chilling on the roof. I came on my period this morning, so I'm just feeling a bit worse for wear. I've been asking every girl that I bump into if you got a tampon. I don't have any. And now we're here, and we're going to the airport in like two hours. So, we're having our food, then we might head to the market, get an ice cream, get some natas to take home, and that's gonna be it. I've only gone and done it again. I've done another video with no outro. Sorry, plus hate me because I'm a big girl. <laughs> yes, I'm in my warehouse right now editing this as it literally goes live. Which I need to fill you in on what's going on here. But I think we'll do that. Not the next vlog, the one after that. Okay, there's not much to say. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Love you all.